Hello, my name is Corey from viamods.com and in this video I'll be showing you how to add or remove the dogs. That way you can get past round five, uh, whichever method you choose. But first I want to let you know about my new website viamods.com, link is in the description. Just a community that helps you get more tutorials as well as help, as well as you can show off your maps and all that. So when the video is over, please head on over to viamods.com, sign up for the forums, and let us see what you're making. Because I'm really excited to see what you guys are making with my tutorials. But anyhow, let's go. So first things first is that Treyarch has included a spawner right here, or a location I should say, in the map but they didn't include the dog spawner. So if you actually hit N on your keyboard right here with this selected, this is what this script struct looks like. It's a target name for our start zone spawners, and then all it has is a script noteworthy dog location. So the only difference between the other ones, other than uh, what type of uh, spawner it is, is now it's gonna be a dog location. So let's go ahead and make another one. I'll show you how it's, uh, how it's done to make them, and then we'll go in adding the dogs. So what you wanna do is hit B on your keyboard. This will bring up your browser, and then make sure that um, you have a uh, script right here. Right click, hit toggle favorite if you haven't already. That way you can right click in the screens, and then go down to script, and then struct. So we're just going to put in a script struct wherever we want our dogs to spawn uh, just so we can kind of see which one's ours and which one's already there. We'll do it over here. We'll go to right click, script, struct, and then this will give us a little box right here and it looks like they kind of put it halfway in the floor, halfway out. Uh, the dogs kind of spawn above it which is why you do that but if you want to you can just throw it in the sky and have your dogs spawn in the sky if you really want to but you can put them wherever you want. Now what we need to do is give it a target name. Now the target name is going to be whatever your zone spawners are. For example, if you deselect this and select one of the other ones, this zone is called start underscore zone underscore spawners, and then this would be the same. The reason why you're doing this is that way it says, hey, he's in this spawner, I will choose these dog spawners if he's in this zone. So just do the same start underscore zone underscore spawners, that lets us know that, hey, this one is also connected to these. As you can see, it connects all of them. And then all you have to do is type in another one, which is script underscore noteworthy. And then you're going to do the value. And then this is going to be called dog underscore location and no s just dog underscore location and that's just gonna say hey this is not a zombie spawn location this is a dog location so obviously you would copy these and put them anywhere around your map that's all you really have to do is make one and then copy them as long as you're in the same zones if you're in a different zone then obviously you'll have to change the zone name or the target name to the correct zone all right, so now that we've done that, now we need to actually add the dog. So to do that, what you wanna do is hit B on your keyboard and then go up to actor, and then you'll see spawner underscore ZM underscore factory zombie dog, and you're going to drag that in your map. Now this should be, and always, I'm gonna drill it into your head, always put your dog somewhere a player can't go. And the reason why is if you do not, not always, but sometimes this dog would have collision. So if your player, let's say you put it in a doorway for some reason, the player wouldn't be able to go through the door because this invisible dog is blocking it. Also, if you mess up these spawns, then a dog will spawn right here and he'll be growling in the middle of nowhere and, and all that. So always just put him somewhere else that can't be seen, can't be touched. But right now we'll just leave him in the map because I don't care at this point, but always put him somewhere else, preferably under the map or outside of the map, etc. So what we do is when he's selected, just hit N on your keyboard. We're going to give him some keys and values, but first, what we're going to do is we're going to change this right here, alert on spawn. It is marked to two, uh, true, which just means that this is going to, uh, let's see here. I don't know what that is actually, just turn it off. And then a lot of people for the spawners have been using make room. So we will just turn that on as well. I'm assuming that this means that as long as it's in this room, this is the only dog that you'll need. Maybe you'll need dogs in different areas as well, but that I'm not actually sure. I think you can just do one dog per map, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him a target name. Now the target name can be whatever you want. Um, 
what I'm just going to do is zombie underscore dog underscore spawner. That way I know, and we'll just call it A. That way I know that this is the first spawner that I created. You can call it whatever you want. Dog spawn, hey dog, whatever. But as long as it's got a target name, you're fine. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add in some KVPs. The first one is going to be script underscore and this is going to be force spawn and what this is going to be is it's just going to force the dogs to spawn when the dogs are supposed to spawn and we're going to put in a value of one which is true in the language up oh, and don't hit spacebar uh, one is true zero is false and then we're going to just add one more script it's going to be script underscore noteworthy and this is going to be called zombie underscore dog underscore spawner. And this must be called zombie underscore dog underscore spawner. And that's just saying, hey, this is a dog spawner. Do what a dog spawner is supposed to do. When the dog rounds are here, spawn them at these dog locations. And that's it. That's how simple dogs are. Obviously, you put him somewhere else in the map. But when round five comes or round six, the dogs will spawn here and the dogs will spawn here as well. So let's take a look at that in the game, and then I'll show you how to remove the dogs altogether. All right, so here we are. The dogs should spawn in. I don't know why they waited till round seven to do the dog round, but I think I just nuked them. Dogs, where are you? There we go. So here's the dog round. As you can see, normally, if you didn't put the dogs in, then this, nothing would spawn, and then you would be stuck here. But here we go. We do have a dog spawning in in our spawn location there and then also at that location as well. So as you can see, it's spawning at any of the locations that are actually titled dog location. And then obviously if we have multiple zones and stuff, they would spawn in at each zone as well. So that's pretty much it for the dog rounds, adding the dogs. Let's look at how we remove the dogs altogether. So now that we know how to make the dogs work, let's go over how to disable them. This will involve some scripting, but don't worry, very simple. Don't be alarmed when you hear the word scripting. Scripting is, uh, scripting is wonderful, and it's very simple if you know what you're doing. So what you want to do is you want to right-click your map name, ZM underscore dogs, then go into show zone folder. But instead of editing these right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the root folder of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So click that, then we're going to go into share, raw, scripts zm and then scroll to the bottom and you should find a file called zm underscore user map now with these files all of this stuff is shared amongst all the other maps that you'll ever create here so you never want to edit these because what happens is if you do then either a it might not work because it knows that it shouldn't change or b you're going to change it on all the maps which you don't want to do so whenever you're making custom stuff you want to actually copy these out of here and then put them in your map so copy the zm underscore score user map go back to the root file this time go into user maps find your map name zm underscore dogs then go into scripts zm and then paste it in here so now we have a custom zm underscore user map in our map that we'll be using instead of the shared one this way any changes that we make will affect just our map zm underscore dogs so then what you want to do is you want to open it up now i am using sublime text 3 you can use any text editor there that you want but i'm using this for main reason is because this has a language pack that comes with the mod tools that allows you to get the actual gsc scripting language that way if you ever do type in stuff it will pop up what it thinks you mean um, which is good because then you know the variables and stuff that you can actually use so when you're in here then all you have to do is hit Control f we're going to type in level dot dog oops i keep forgetting to hit dot dot dog and it actually should be the first thing that shows up and you should see a little line here that says default level dot dog rounds allowed and then it says one in scripting language one equals true two I'm sorry, zero equals false. Two doesn't equal anything. One is true, zero is false. And all you would have to do then is change the one to a zero. That's it. And then hit control S to save it. Make sure it's saved. And now we've disabled the, the dogs. However, now what we need to do is tell our map to use this ZM underscore user map instead of the default one. So all you have to do is go back to your map name right here in user maps. So user maps, your map name. 
And then instead of going into scripts like we did the first time, we're going to go into zone underscore source. And you should see a zone file in here. It's a zone file right here called zm underscore your map name. So we'll double click that. And then it's a very short thing right here because it is basic. But if you look right down here, these little things are letting us know that we should use custom stuff. So to add our own, you could either copy it, but I'll just write it out. You're going to type script parse tree and that sent that word right there it's all together what that means is that we're going to then look for a file inside of our user maps file for our map and then what we need to do is just tell it where that file is so where was it it was in scripts slash zm and then it's znm underscore user map and then make sure you put the trail for this it's gsc could be GSC, could be CSC. This one we just copied over the GSC and then hit save. And that's it. So now our dog map will tell us to use the script parse tree, which is our location, scripts ZM, ZM user map instead of the shared one. So any changes that we made will now be ran only on this map. And then if you were to play the map, dogs would not spawn because you've disabled them through the script. So hopefully this video was helpful. We went over adding dogs. We went over removing dogs in case you hate dogs and you're a jerk. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, I hopefully you like this video. And please check out the website via mods.com. Link is in the description. Find more tutorials. Help if you need it with errors and stuff like that. As well as show off the maps that you're working on because I would love to see them. So check it out and I'll see you in the next video.